Hey everyone, on this video I am going to show you how to clear the cache for just a website. Not your whole device, just a website, in this case the quiltshow.com, on your iPad or your iPhone. This is for an iPad or an iPhone, they work the same. So what you would like to do, or what you need to do, what we would like for you to do, is go to settings. When the settings page opens, on the left, you'll need to scroll down or scroll up, depending on how you have your device set up, until you find the Safari button. Click Safari. On the right side of the screen, you'll see the different uh, uh, things that you can do within the Safari application. I need you to scroll all the way to the bottom, until you can't go any farther. See, I'm all the way at the very bottom, and select Advanced. Once that page opens, you want to come to the very top of this page and select Website Data. It's going to take a minute for the website data to load, and when it does, you're going to see a listing of all of the websites that have cached data on your device. Uh, they will be listed from top to bottom, highest to lowest data cached, and then um, we're just going to look for the quiltshow.com and we're going to delete it. And like I said, it will really speed up the functionality of the Quilt Show on your iPad. Takes a second. Unfortunately, it doesn't go load really, really fast. And I think it would also depend on how much data you have cached. Okay, so here we are. We're going to look up and down. We're going to look down until we find the quiltshow.com. In the event you do not see the quiltshow.com, see this show all sites underneath Homes by Bella Vista in blue? If you will click that button, it will list every website that's cached data on your device. I don't need to do that. Mine's relatively high because I have 22.7 megabytes cached. So all you do is put your finger on the quiltshow.com and slide it to the left until you get the delete button up. The minute you get it up, just hit delete, and you have cleared the website data, ca the cache data, I should say, for the quiltshow.com. That's all there is to it. I will show you how to clear your device data and why you might want to do that in another video. But that's how you clear the cache data for a particular website on an iPad or an iPhone. Thank you.